Cam Artist Studio. That was a good one. <laughs> All right, so uh, <laughs> hey, we're here making t-shirts. T-shirts with butterflies and flowers and other little nature things. I guess you'd already put down some paint. Oh, yes, probably Perhaps. was. <laughs> we did Please that. consider it like that. <laughs> PM Artist Studio. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one was the very beginning, but I'm assuming this is the pink one. I'm thinking so. And we yes. talked about this a bit in our live today. And what you did is you started out kind of in a, the simplest of terms of just... Just putting the paint on top, top of the butterfly. butterfly. Just to so that see the, what was going to happen. The image of the butterfly is going to be the negative space, which it will be remain white. Yeah. And pink was the color most desired by said person who will be wearing the shirts. Yes. Isabella. Yes. And you watched a video, and I have put that information in the description box below. So if you guys want to know a little bit more about how P got started on how to do the t-shirts. Now, of course, there's going to be more information in that video that doesn't necessarily wasn't transferred over to what her and I and Brad, because this was a three-part person. Oh, yes, it was definitely. We even got Izzy involved at some point. Well, yeah, she painted on some shirts. Yes, and this color has been specifically designed yes, for her. That's it used to have a number on it. It no longer has a number on it. Yeah. I'm just really trying to get as thick of paint down into those little butterfly cavities as possible. And I needed to see that, those little, little mm -hmm. antenna. Yeah. They're tricky little boogers. Tricky little boogers. You kind of want to go with them. And I was just wiping the... It's really important to keep your edges kind of clean. Yeah. Now, here's one of the things that I noticed in this whole business. Now, she's transferring directly over to the t-shirt. We're going to get to that just here in moments, seconds. It's almost easier, and here we are, to leave the stencil on the plate. This was the very first one that you did, so you lifted the stencil. But then you'll see coming up, it, by leaving the stencil on the plate, I think you were getting clearer images. That's one of the reasons w when we get here in the later ways of you doing this, I think it had better results. I'm going to, I, I don't agree with that right now, but I might. <laughs> when she figures out I'm what holding, I'm talk, talking I'm about. holding out my opinion on that. So this was not anything that you had thought about, huh? The difference between kind of the first... No, you're going to get much more definition if you don't have the stencil on there because that's just one more layer that is not allowing you to touch the fabric. That's what I think. No, see, and I think what happens is that it's going to push out, especially since you're dealing with both a gel plate and fabric, both of which have more, you know, like paper's not going to have that much movement. Lots of paint. Lots more than you usually need. Yeah, and this is the start of the second shirt. Second shirt, yes. Which is going to be a sweet little shirt, I think. Sweet little shirt. I mean, we already know because we've you seen know, it. You know, and I'm just, you know, I brought, I mean, everybody understands this is a talk over, right? They yeah. know that. Okay, so I just brought this yellow down, and that is Naples yellow there. But that pink mix... Oh, yes, you had to mix that. That was a specialty mix. That she lost her jar, the number, because she did a specialty mix, so, you know. Hey, it was for my baby. Yeah. She wants pink. Pink. <laughs> and it, I didn't have, I, all I had was transparent pink, so we had to Opaque it. it. We had to opaque it, so I shot a bunch of white it's in there. It's not fake it till you make it. It's <laughs> opaque it. <laughs> opaque it. Yeah, no, I, okay, I, honestly, you don't need that much white. Um, But it's it, good to go heavy. It, it, it is good to go heavy. You can always scrape a little bit off and, you know, scrape it into a jar, use it later. But look at that super heavy, lovely, yeah. lovely mess of stuff there. Isn't that gorgeous? I think you got, what, two, maybe three shirts? You'll see that I coming up I here in a second. Three. And then I got a print. Yeah. A, a, okay, a, so here we paper. go. Here we go. Slap that baby down. Now, the tape that you see there was not a very good idea. Don't use that nasty packing tape. On your Yupo. It got the UFO sticky. Now, press, 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 push, push to you when see the stencil, stencil coming and through. And you know you've done the right 
thing there. Okay, we're saving you a lot of grief because I can't tell you how. The well. other thing is, to reference when the, at the beginning here, I had mentioned that it is better to have the stencil down and then put your plate onto it. I don't know that that is an absolute. She's still unsure about that, but that's fine. I, I think now she's see you're bringing in another shirt because she's still got good. That wasn't plate. my arm. That was Brad. Yeah, that's Brad. <laughs> We're, this is okay. shirt number two off the, of the off same of plate. The same plate. Off the Exciting same plate. stuff, people. Exciting stuff. <laughs> Look oh, at that. Ooh. And this is the one the baby wanted to wear today. She went to the park. She wore it to the park. But you can still see the stencil in the darker darker areas. Yes, because you pushed really nicely, so it pushed that paint out. I'm telling you, that, that's the deal. I love it. And then keep in mind, too, how it's put onto the plate is more of how you're going to see, and, and, and we'll talk through that here in, on this next shirt as well, about the placement on your know, paint onto the gel plate. Yeah, it's not going to go. Because you're going to see some funny little marks that we're, we're going to point out here in just a second. It's really, really, really yeah. important because remember, you're not spreading it thinly. Exactly. You're leaving it gloppy and, and loosey-goosey. Yeah. So where you put that paint is more or less where it's going to, to be. Yes. You must plan carefully. Exactly. So there we go. P was pulling the rest of that, I think, off on um, the papers. Now, now we're trying to get the tape and the stencil Now you off. will see. <laughs> and two people is helpful. Otherwise, you're going to you, really want to have some. You have to pull it straight up yeah. from one corner. Now, I do think that it was fairly dry. Because, again, that shirt just ate up the paint, which is great. <laughs> so, so there wasn't a lot of loosey-goosey happening. No, it, it didn't take long for that mm -mm. any of that to dry. Well, you know how acrylic is anyway. Yeah. There we go. I just love that. I, again, don't think it's because the stencil was down on the shirt. That was the tricky, the, the, the key. Okay, now here's some orange that I mixed up. <laughs> She's excited about her mixes. <laughs> You're getting excited about your mixes again, and I like that. I, I am, and I, I'm getting ready to mix up a bunch more stuff because I don't have quite the right one. Now, keep in mind, here's here's where okay, we're going to talk here. about how you blip blop and, and put it onto the plate. That's what you're going to see, folks. That's what you're going to see. It is important that, you know, you do have enough paint down there. Oh, yes. This is where yeah. you actually... Well, I'm running out of red. Yeah, so um, she had to my, touch the plate. So she yeah, ends up with these little eyeballs. <laughs> my... <laughs> Little, There's the eyeballs. Little, well, eyeballs or something else. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> oh, I needed a couple more over there. Why didn't I put those over there? I don't know. I hate rewatching. <laughs> it just drives me crazy. I just want to go upstairs and do it she's over. She's yelling at herself. I'm yelling at myself. <laughs> Come on, girl. Get that see, paint you, over there. You did it with the white. You were filling in the holes with the white. I know, but I don't necessarily think that was a thing to do. <laughs> Let's, yeah. That's good to know. That's good, think. yeah. Okay. Now, here's the key thing. She's going to brayer. Tell us about the brayering. Kiss, kiss. Yes, you are. You are just, you're Moving. skimming over the surface. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Just, it's like an impressionist painting, isn't it? It's. She was very excited about this. She really wanted the paint on the this side to look like this on the other side. Yeah, and then when I lifted yeah. up, I'm so disappointed. You're just moving paint around. Okay, here we go. We, we also switched over to the washi tape. Yes. <laughs> Squish, 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 push, push. push. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm really, if I, yeah. I'm elephant stomping that dude. What you see is you'll see the stencil just start coming, coming through. Coming through. That's when you know that you've made good contact yeah. and you're, you're, you're getting your, your image of your stencil is transferring. Okay. Lift. And pull from one end. And you could have even had more paint on there, I think. I think I, I could have too. You know, you you just, you don't know. I think that definitely could have had more paint on it. But, um, and this just doesn't even do it justice here. It really doesn't. Because it came out really nice. Now this, oh, this is the kind of Mardi mm. gras one. This is the gold one that's yes. called in it. Mm. I'm pretty sure. So just some different techniques. But like I said, see, and I think that that's when Brad keyed in on the whole idea that Keeping the stencil on there was helping block 
and keep the image crisp onto your fabric. Because then that's when he was having you lay them out on the shirt and leave them there and press into, yeah. into them. Because you have to think, especially with this amount of paint that's going into it, when you press into it, if it doesn't have something to say, oh, stop, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. going to squish. Yeah. Smush. And that's why you were getting some smushiness on those first tries. This is the gold. Look how yeah. nicely I'm layering it around, and then I just swoosh it all over the place. Mm -hmm. I think another interesting technique that would be um, if you could palette knife them on, because then you'd get more smushy. See, right now, that was one of your gripes, is like you really liked how it looked on the back side mm -hmm. versus what you end up with being your top and side. This is true. So, this is true. But there you did a bit more, and that's how you got more messy. But I think if you went ahead and even before that palette knifed it on, you would already then have some. Then I would some, disrupt some yes. of those little little Bop. circles yeah. and yeah, crazy eyeballs. And that's where Brad was like, "No, no, 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 put it down." You put it down on the shirt. Now here we go. We're coming over to the shirt. We've laid down the butterfly. <laughs> and that is that a pink shirt? That's not a pink shirt. Yeah, it's a pink shirt. It's the light pink one. But we didn't do this onto the light pink. Yeah, we did. The turquoise and the Yeah. Gold? I don't think so. Well, we'll just, we shall see. And then there was like, you know, centering that up. Boom. And I've got Brad helping me. Yes. Have, Since, yeah. Get it as <laughs> close to say. Because when I'm sitting over to the side, I can't see if it's centered or not. Right. You're off. You get off a little. Yeah. Now, I don't think you have to be total, total spot on with shirts. Oh, this is funny. That's because I thought yes. I thought the stencil was still on. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I'm trying to pick it off. <laughs> and that's my old blue shirt underneath. Uh, but that shirt was not pink. It was white. No, oh. you you ended up. They're gonna. He's gonna bring back another shirt. It, there was like three shirts you got out of that one plate full of paint so if you go heavy enough and you are quick enough and you kind of have a, a thing set up there you can bring in multiple things now each one's going to be slightly different i mean it is mono printing but there you go and see the butterfly still stuck into the paint no i stuck another one into it remember this is the one oh is that, this the one that you see the ghost image of the other one in the background, background. But there you go. And you're trying... Yeah, see how I'm just peeling no, it see, off? just the one. But see, the stencil was still on the paint. This is why it was important that we did the talk through on. <laughs> and then you got one more. Oh, yes. And this is a, this is the one that I, I think put this the other, one might be the where one. I put the other butterfly yeah. down because there wasn't... I wasn't getting that much of an image. Yeah. And then this is the one that looks very... Um, Those are Brad's arms, by the way. <laughs> impressionistic, yes. I didn't suddenly have a Nor hor did. hormonal hair suit. <laughs> Nor did I. <laughs> I mean, I am, but not... Yeah. <laughs> he's so sweet. He just, did you see how know, nice he, he patted did. it down? I'll tell you what. He's, he's, a, he, he's a good one. He's... Okay, same paint. People. Yeah, but see, I know, yeah, I think you, you did put your other... Now, I'm really pressing on this one because I know I've got paints drying, paints drying, less paint. <laughs> but no, I still think because we're not showing the one. Oh, it is. Yep, you put the other butterfly in there. And see, that and that, that's it. the one you thought of. I was like, no, no, it's still in the paint. <laughs> this is this is it. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't that first one. It was this one. So because it's you go. still on the plate. All right. There. Well, hey guys, that was it. Hope you enjoyed it. As yeah. always, please like, subscribe, and ring that, that bell. bell.